What's up guys, Andrew here from Tom Goods Media. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Since today is so wonderful, why don't we keep this recipe nice and short so you have more time to spend with your loved ones. So today we're making a version of arroz a la cubana. Now did you know that this dish didn't originally have meat? It was just eggs, plantains, and tomato sauce. And rice of course. But of course as Filipinos don't roll that way, we need that protein in our lives so we added ground meat to it. And at this case, I'm using about a kilo of ground pork. But any ground meat you have available would do. Alright, so let's get started. Get a pan heating with some oil. I diced up some kamote here which I'll be lightly frying until they're nice and tender. If you have potatoes, you can use them instead. Now once they're tender, transfer them to a strainer and strain off any excess oil. In the same pan, let's saute some onions and garlic until they're nice and soft. Drop in the red bell peppers and saute again until they're tender. Once everything is aromatic, we can now drop our ground meat. Now just mix this all up and keep stirring until you don't see any bits of raw meat anymore. Make sure to break the pork meat apart so that we don't have big chunks of ground pork in the dish. After about 5 minutes, we can now add some tomato paste in here. I'm using about 1 tablespoon. Next, add about 2 tablespoons of soy sauce and 1 tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now crack some black pepper on top and mix it well. Now just make sure that nothing is burning in the bottom of the pan. Cover this up stirring occasionally until the meat has developed a darker color. This will take about 10 minutes. Make sure to taste it again for any additional seasoning. I added a little over a tablespoon of sugar here which made it a tad too sweet. So I balanced it out with some soy sauce. Now it's the time to add your kamote. Mix it well and just cover with the lid to keep it warm. This dish wouldn't be complete with some bananas, so get a banana and just slice it into two. Grab some tomatoes and remove the tops off so that we don't see them while we're eating later. Nothing against them, just uh, I don't want to see them while we're eating. Now I've got a large flat pan here. So much, with your robots in here. So many activities! Fry your eggs and make sure it's all nice and pretty. Now I've got enough space here so I'll fry my bananas and the tomatoes at the same time, so we can save some time. Of course you can do this all separately, it's just that my family is hungry and I need to feed them, like uh, right now. Once that's done, we can proceed to plating the dish. So for plating the dish, nothing too complicated here, just put everything together until they look nice. So yeah, you do you. Time for the taste test. Now the way they eat this is of course break that egg first because we need to saturate that rice with some of that delicious runny yolk. So then grab the tomato and just cut into it so that all that juicy tomato goodness coats the rice. Spoon over some meat and put it all together and take a bite. Forget your name while you're at it and make your family members jealous while you're eating and they aren't. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is again Andrew from Tom Gets Media, signing off.